We explain retinal vein occlusion. This is Sarah. Recently, Sarah celebrated her 59th birthday. Sarah continues to lead a busy life. She still works full time and drives a long distance each day to the office. Whenever possible, Sarah also helps look after her three grandchildren. Sarah has never really worried about her health, but lately she's been experiencing some problems. Sarah was recently told by her doctor that her blood pressure and cholesterol were too high. Sarah is a senior manager. She often finds her work stressful, which could be contributing to her high blood pressure. Also, as an office job, it means that she doesn't get much time for exercise. To make matters worse, Sarah has been experiencing blurred vision. This is worrying, as Sarah hasn't had any eyesight problems before. This concerns her the most. If she loses her sight, she won't be able to see her grandchildren or live a full life anymore. Sarah may be suffering from retinal vein occlusion, or RVO for short. RVO is caused by blocked blood vessels in the retina. There are two types of RVO, central RVO and branch RVO. The blockage of a vein prevents blood being drained and can cause fluid leakage, bleeding or swelling in the retina. This can lead to macular edema, a buildup of fluids in the eye. If left untreated, it can result in structural damage to the macula, the part of the eye that sees detail, and permanent vision loss. It's therefore vital that Sarah seeks the advice of an ophthalmologist as soon as possible. While both types of RVO have similar symptoms, CRVO sufferers are likely to experience a very sudden and more severe deterioration in vision, much like Sarah has. Those affected by BRVO tend to notice problems over a longer period. Common risk factors for RVO include high blood pressure and cholesterol. The condition can also be onset by diabetes, glaucoma, obesity, or even smoking. Sarah enjoys her job and her busy life. But of course, she needs to pay attention to her health and vision. She should visit an ophthalmologist right away. There are treatments available for CRVO and BRVO, but the symptoms need to be reported as soon as possible.